Uh, so we're um, in Main Street of Clarence Town at the moment. That's our little Clarence Town IGA, just on the corner there. Um, not many people haven't been to Clarence Town before. It's a small uh, little farming town community just um, north of Maitland. Not a lot in the town, um, very small. Um, so every cent that pe um, people come and camp in the in the um, in the town spend, it's better for them so they can keep stuff open. Uh, we've got the pub just here on the right hand side, uh, vet clinic on that side. Uh, just here on the left we have the the hardware, understand the hardware. So yeah, there's a few little shops in here. It's um, always good if you're down in this area to come and spend money to keep the town a lot better going. Good reserve down there. <laughs> this sort of takes you down the back streets. Yeah, a few old packs onto the river. Down here. So just down there is the river. On the back end of uh, Clarence Town. Pretty much goes down to the back of the river. Up here, we have um, we've got the Clarence Town um, footy field just here. Create a pitch in the middle. Uh, uh, the soccer grounds just up here on the on the left, um, and uh, the bowling club. The bowling club used to have a really good meal. Um, been a while since we've been there, but. It has a really good meal. A uh, skate park there for the kids as well. Uh, like I said, it's a very small town that relies heavily on people coming when they come and stay at the campgrounds, which we'll show you very soon. But yeah, people that come and stay there and spend money in the town, um, it helps keep the things open for them. Anyway, we're heading down to the IGA now. Next to the IGA, there's a little uh, post office and also a chemist. Uh, we're just going to duck into the IGA. They've just recently redone the IGA here, made it bigger, which is, um, can only benefit everyone. And we have um, a new IGA liquor here as well. Anyway, we'll um, just go in. We've got to go get a few bits and pieces, and then we'll uh, show you around a bit more of the town. Uh, this is the uh, road down to the boat ramp to the Williams River. Um, they used to be able to camp up here at the reserve but um When Doug got Council um, closed this down in the caravan park, um, this was never allowed back again. So it used to be really good camping here. Yeah, just a little there, but we used to go and play in the caravan park. 
and use the um, use those now. Ten dollars a night or something like that. Can't remember now. I we used to we used to camp just up there. It's a good little spot. Um, but yeah, now it's uh, now it's been stopped the camping here, which is unfortunate. But this um, brings you down to the the boat ramp in the river and the Head down to the weir at Sorn. It's um, four knot zone here. Till you get down further, there is a um, wakeboarding zone um, and also a ski zone, and yeah, which is really good. Um, we used to do it in our boat all the time. We had friends up here that lived up here. Uh, Fortunately, now we've all signed our boats, and yeah, that's the new boat ramp now. Uh, he's going. Yeah, um, you can't can't tube in this river or jet skis, but um, it's a really good spot to come up here in the summer to get away. Um, it's a bit sheltered, but yeah, this is the track that comes down here. There's a, just up here to the right. There's a little bridge here like that where it takes you over to um, the other end of the main street. <coughs> uh, um, actually, the, the Williams River is part of our drinking resource in the Hunter. So yeah, there's a bit of a pump station there. Uh, so here, yeah, the Williams River supplies drinking water to the lower hunter. So yeah, so you come down here. All this Easter time, Christmas time used to be absolutely chock a block full of um full of people camping, but now it's, it's been stopped. So, uh, which is unfortunate. But it's a good thing though that the caravan park's up and running again. Um, we're going to head back over there in a minute. That's where we're actually staying this weekend. Um, we'll head over there and have a squeeze. But yeah, all this here used to be people used to be camped here all through here. People used to sit up here for weeks at Christmas. So uh, another little trap that brings you down. Um, brings you back down in the river. It's a good spot. For us, it's nice and close to home, which is good. Okay, we'll head back up to the main street, and we'll have a bit more look at that, and we'll have a check out of the caravan park. Yeah, we're just coming back up the main street again, heading down towards the caravan park. Uh, like I said, they've got a new medical centre here now as well, uh, which is really good. It's good for the town. Uh, we've got a little park here as well with um, a little town hall. Uh, have a police station just up there as well, like I said, Australia Post um, and the IGA just back there. Um, top of the hill here we have <laughs> we have the um, bakery uh, doing good pie. We had a chicken snitty burger there and surely had a salad sandwich from there yesterday. How was your salad sandwich? Awesome. Yeah, well, I might have chicken snitzel. Uh, lettuce and mayo roll, but it was um, it was quite good. So yeah, we'll head down towards the caravan park. I'll we'll just show you where we're actually staying at. But like I said, it's good it's good when you come to this small town, like I've said. Um, try and spend a bit of money in the town. Um, one thing that there is a um, bad thing here, there is no petrol station. So you need to make sure you, if you come with boats or you're travelling in, make sure you've got fuel because, um, yeah, there is no petrol station. That's probably the only downfall of this place is that so, <coughs> so it's coming into the caravan park now. So you pretty much come in here, the receptionist is over here, upper level's all the um, it's all the powered sites, and down the lower level, I have um, I have all the uh, unpowered sites, which is where we're at. Um, dump point just here as you come in. So it's just here, and just here you'll see um, the gate's locked at 6pm every night. They give you a key for the gate so you can get out if you need to get out. But this pretty much brings you down to the down to the river. So uh, you come down here, Hello, then we've got, up here you've got the sign. It's uh, there, unpowered sites for $30 a night, power sites for $40. But, you know, all campers must stop and see reception first before coming in, which is fair enough. But this brings you down to the lower level camping area. Um, so obviously, yeah, when it floods here, when you get high rainfall, um, this does go underwater. But 
this weekend we've got a few showers about and it's fine uh, it shouldn't be an issue but it's a lovely spot there's lots of little day use day use areas just here <coughs> for people uh, there's a small boat ramp here it's very shallow water out there though we have put our big weight boat in here before and gone down very carefully because we know where the shallow parts of the water are but this is a basically a day use area just here and all this area here is all site camping sites i think there's about 120 sites here down in the free camping area um, as you can see there's heaps of sites all over the back over here some of them have got um taps so you can run fresh water which is good um or fresh young sites here there's a new amenities block down here now. There, there never used to be amenities, so you used to have to go up the top to go to the uh, toilet or shower. So this was one of the stipulations that they had to happen from when they reopened. And they've ended up putting in this amenities block. So it's got um, toilet showers, they're all separate. Um, unisex toilet shower as well for disabled. Um, yeah, but it's really good now. But they've got this facility down the bottom for campus. Um, come just along here, you see. That's us just set up just there, but um, we'll go down to the other end of the park and show you around more um, more campsites down in there, which is really good. Um, more river sites just here, so, which is really good. <coughs> uh, it comes down here and turns around. Uh, there's another little pontoon jetty. We'll come for a walk in a minute. We'll go for a walk a bit later. We're gonna have some lunch and we'll show you around a little bit more but There's a little um, pontoon there that you can actually Go down onto and go down for a swim So down here is a really good spot to camp. We'll probably next time we're going to come down Come down here and camp down this end of it. But yeah, it's a really good spot like I said Nice and green, it's maintained, which is good. Uh, anyway, we'll um, we're gonna head up here. We'll have some lunch, and then we'll um, then we'll um, probably catch up with you a little bit later. Cheers. Uh, this is the um, day use area I was talking about earlier. Uh, lots of people come up here and sit there and have a picnic, or set up in that little area there. Got a little car park here for everyone to come up. It's a nice little uh, quiet place to get away. Got, like I said, it's got a little quiet come eat, uh, Easter and public holidays and stuff like that. And it usually gets pretty, um, usually gets pretty busy. <coughs> uh, we have a little boat ramp. We've got a few pieces up there, so I won't say not feeling too much of it down there. But yeah, we've got a little boat ramp and a pontoon there. Um, rope is a Actually, over on the bridge there's a rope swing. Over right on the bridge. Yeah. Anyway. A bit overcast today, we've had a few showers, but it still hasn't been too bad. Yeah. When you're away, you always make the most of whatever weather you got. That's all part of the fun of being away make the most of it. Well, we'll go for a walk down the other end and uh, have a look at that pontoon and then down the river. Well, just up the top end of the caravan park is the actual old carriage down bridge. And then we'll cross that in a minute and just go over and see my cousin who's on the other side. But we'll hit, hit the top off that bridge. I've never uh, had a set big enough to go and do it. Um, Anyway, I'm just coming back around now onto the bridge. Uh, she's a pretty old bridge, this one. Very narrow as well. So that looks back across over to the caravan park. She's a rattly old bridge. Back up 
So this uh, this road takes you up towards uh, Stroud, uh, all the Buckets Way. You get up the Buckets Way, you turn left to go to Stroud, or uh, right to get back onto the Pacific Highway. So this is a close-up view of the talk block. So this side we've got two mile, two mile showers, uh, urinal in there, and two mile toilets here. seat there and some sinks there just to wash your hands or any dishes or something that you might have a couple of power points as well and same out here again as well someone's charging their phone so we've got plenty of garbage bins up there as you can see you see a tap here that you can look into but yeah it's a really Good little park here. Plenty of fun. So what do we got going on here, Duff? Writing. Writing. So what's brought this newfound um or well, rekindled the spark again? Something to do. Busy mind is a happy mind. Oh very good. So do you think your first novel will give us some, um, make us some money so we can travel Australia? <laughs> no. Do you know how hard it is to publish a book? I'm sure that you have the expertise to do that. But anyway, we're um, trying a, new, a few different things this weekend. I bought myself a tripod and that's uh, going to do a few things. We're going to do a bit of cooking tonight. I wouldn't say it's going to be gourmet cooking by any means, but it'll be it'll be fun. But pretty much, just going to keep back to the other here. Um, sit back and enjoy a beer. Um, been pretty much coming up here for years now and uh, always wanted to show you guys a bit of the, around the place and tell you a bit about it. Anyway, we'll um, might have a couple of beers and then we'll um, start prepping for some dinner a bit later before the footy starts. Anyway, uh, we'll uh, We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, good morning everyone. It's Sunday morning, just going for a bit of a walk. A lot of people have already packed up and gone home. Um, looks like we've got some sun. Some sun's starting to make its way through, which is good. Everyone's pretty well cleared out now. If you're ever in this current stand area, and you're looking for a place to stay overnight uh, or for the weekend. It's a great little spot. Uh, like I said, 30 dollars a night. Uh, toilet, showers. Um, the town's only small, like I said. IGA, which has got everything that you need. Hardware shop, which is great if you need to get any, any supplies or anything that might be broken. Um, bakers. Yeah, it's, it's got everything that a small town needs. Yeah, don't know what happened there, my battery just decided to stop, but anyway, just having a quick walk down here to the jetty, near the river. Um, yeah, she's water's pretty dirty at the moment, needs a good flush out, but it's awesome for swimming here. You see, it's a really good place up here in summer. Well, we've had a really good weekend again. Um, it's good to get away for, you know, even if it's only for two nights, just to relax and recharge the batteries, have a couple of drinks and just basically sit back and enjoy yourself. So if ever you're sitting at home and getting bored, just just get up. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm having GoPro. We've got 50% battery and it just keeps dropping out. Anyway, 
um, like I said, get out and enjoy yourself. Don't see the name wondering. So go and find that small town and go and visit it. You should never know what you might see or what you might find or just how much enjoyment you'll have. Anyway, we'll, we'll catch up with you probably in a couple of weeks time at Easter. Take it easy guys and safe travels. There's no religion No one falling My absolution Is all true There's no religion No one falling My absolution